I'm asking you for a favor. Immediately. It's very inappropriate. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing opening lines. Most likely some will be good, some will be bad, and maybe some will be kind of nonchalant. But anyways, leave us your thoughts in the comments as to if you agree or disagree. But without further ado, let's get to it. Hey Josh, hey everybody, happy to be here. Sorry to bother you, but I need help with pain point immediately. So this one is extremely rude. I don't think you did it right. I think it's supposed to be sorry to bother you, but I need help with pain point immediately. <laughs> I mean, they've got the three exclamation parts. Than me, you know? No, no, it's just, yeah. I was just saying that this opening line is extremely rude. It's very inappropriate. So it's like zero out of 10. You're starting off an email by apologizing. That's not showing confidence, <laughs> um, but I need help with in your like, instead of trying to reach out and say like, I've got something for you, you're just basically saying, sorry, help me. Yeah, but those exclamation marks and uh, like capitalized letters in immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I, honestly, I can't stand it when I get emails that are like, now I need this now. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a sense of, you, you know, there is a good way to present urgency mm -hmm. and that's not how you do it. I don't believe that this is effective at all because it's like everyone sees that as like clickbait. So yeah, yeah I'm definitely, I think we should move on. <laughs> did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. I'm reaching out to you because being the head of marketing, I was certain you would know more about the current process in, in place at your company for customer service. So what do you think about this one? Honestly, the first thing that really stands out to me is the fact that the head of marketing is reaching out about customer mm -hmm. service. Um, I don't think this is a very bad opening line in general. I think that it could be better. You know, I think the fact that it's showing a little bit of due diligence or a little bit of pre sending this a little bit of, you know, detailed check, you know, I think you could be the person to know about this current process. It shows that they maybe have done a little bit of research, but still it's kind of a head scratcher for me, head of marketing and customer service. How do they align together? Uh, also, I think that this uh, opening line might, might need more personalization in terms of variables, maybe some name dropping. It has to be more catchy. Mm -hmm. It's very plain and basic as for me. Yeah, I agree. So how would you rate this one? I'd probably give this a five. I was thinking about four, so four and a half tops. Four and a half, gotta yeah. throw that <laughs> half in there. Hey guys, you don't wanna miss what I've got for you today. Wanna get your hands on the top 10 best ever cold email sequences? Follow the link in the description or scan the QR code to download our top 10 to boost your open and reply rates. Anyways, back to the video. All right. Hi, first name. I saw your building on address after visiting client one the other day. It's big enough to make a difference in your property value. I see from public estate records that you purchased this property in the past several years. As a title at company, you might be interested in turning your building's roof into a profitable asset. A couple things that come to my mind right away is that the prospect is probably getting an idea of the fact that you are very busy and you have other clients by implementing the merge tag client one you're showing that you're not just spending time just running around doing random things you're actually somewhere near them mm -hmm. visiting a client which shows them that okay you definitely have clients that's good um, i think that another thing that really stands out to me personally is the fact that it's showing in the last sentence, it's showing this sense of interest in not just saying, hey, let's close a deal. Mm -hmm. Let's, you know, let's use your building's roof so that it can be a profitable asset for you. It shows interest in helping your prospect really receive potential revenue that they're not currently tapping into. Um, I think that shows a very good level of uh, selflessness, not wanting it to be just about me. What am I going to get from this meeting? What am I going to get from working with you? But actually like, Hey, help me help you. We can do something great. You'll be able to get more additional revenue. Um, I think this is great. I think it is a little bit lengthy, but in general, I would say that this one does, um, start off really, really well. What do you think? Yeah, I agree totally here because, uh, there it, it shows that the person did the, their homework. They did a lot of research. Uh, the name dropping, the personalization, the variables, everything is it where it should be. And um, yeah, and it's not about the sender. So uh, it shows that 
the person cares what kind of benefits you get, you're gonna get from this email and from this co possible cooperation, I would say. And uh, you might be interested in turning your building's roof into a profitable asset. So this is some kind of value that you're gonna get possibly from this cooperation. So I would give this like 10 out of 10, to be honest. It's a little bit long, but in this case, it's it's totally fine because it shows value it, uh, and it's, it's very catchy. Mm, I would give this one a nine and a half out of 10, <laughs> just because of the length. It is a bit lengthy, but I think this is great. How's it going? Do you have time for a quick call? I need to ask you for a favor. See, again, I would say that the issue here is it's like, I'm asking you for a favor. Okay, so sometimes that can work, like if you're using like a user interview approach, mm -hmm. which if you didn't see, we have a video on how to use user interview. You should go check it out, link below. But anyways, um, a favor, a favor could be anything. And so in a sense, this can work that the prospect's a little bit interested in the fact of like, okay, what's the favor? What does he need? That might actually get you like a better click through or like actual read time. But in general, I would say that no personalization. I have no clue who you are. You're just reaching out and asking me, how's it going? Yeah. Which I'm not going to tell you because I don't know who you are. That's first off. Um, do you have time for a quick call? Okay. Maybe if you started with some information and then like mm -hmm. takeaways and then ask that question, it'd be much better. But for an opening line, I feel like you can't, you know, give out the cake before you've baked it. What do you think? Yeah, that's true. So there is no introduction. So I don't know who you are. Why are you emailing me? Why do you want to take my time and, uh, and join a call with you? So it doesn't make any sense. Uh, it also feels a little bit rude to me uh, because you haven't put any effort like in personalizing this opening line, adding more value to the prospect, uh, like any kind of information that may be interesting to them. And I need to ask you for a favor uh this is also like they use this one to create the sense of urgency i need you but uh, there are better ways i think as well the kind of one question rule is already shot out mm -hmm. so in in emails when uh you send an email there's a general rule almost you know that you should have at least not at least at most one question mm -hmm. you know you're asking one thing so that the prospect doesn't have a ton of homework or a bunch of different things they have to answer and already just from the uh, opening line we've got two questions how's it going do you have time for a quick call what are you going to write then after the opening line like what are your what is your email going to have maybe some information about you what the prospect will get mm -hmm. but you know once you get to the very end you're going to ask again you know, do you have time or can we meet this day? Mm -hmm. That's too many questions. So um, I would rank this probably a two out of 10. Yeah, I agree here. Two questions uh, in the opening line, no personalization, this sense of urgency, uh, no no value for, for our prospects. So don't use this kind of opening lines and let's move on. Yeah. Hi, first name. I'm writing to cordially invite you to partner with the company to showcase company services to our membership community and preserve a strong economy. Uh, so this one is pretty short, but it's catchy. There is uh, the name dropping the company name. And uh, here you can see the value that you get from this potential cooperation or at least an email that you're going to reply to. Um, so I would give this one like seven out of ten it's not bad but it can be better i think this one stands out a lot differently than the ones we've reviewed earlier um because it's talking not about just like closing a deal or getting a meeting um the the wording is very unique here so going past the first part so to showcase companies services to our membership community and preserve a strong economy it really shows a level of let's do something good together. Mm -hmm. Not about me getting something from you or you getting something from me. It's showing this joint kind of progression, um, you know, to showcase companies services to our membership community and preserve a strong economy. Yes, services to a membership community. You're wanting them to add input, insight, a lot of other things that they can bring to the table, mm -hmm. but then also preserve a strong economy. It's, it's overall, everyone wants a stronger economy, especially as of late. Um, but it, it just stands out to me differently. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of weird. The wording is such not aggressive, mm -hmm. 
that it really, it, to me, it just comes off natural. It comes very easy going and I, I think this is great. I like this one. I'll give this one a 9 out of 10. Mm. Don't you think that it's a little bit salesy because of the wording? Um, not as much as some of the other ones we've reviewed, honestly. You know, the fact that you're using better, bigger words like mm. cordially um, in general. I mean, not many people write that. Yeah. You know, it, it's better than saying, hi, I hope you're doing great, which is mm. showing friendliness. But no one really under, I mean, everyone understands that you don't really care. Um, this is showing I'm writing you in a friendly way to invite you to partner with the company mm -hmm. to showcase company services to our membership community and preserve a strong economy. Overall, I think that this one shows interest, um, investment in a stronger economy, and I think this one's great. All right, that's a wrap for today. We reviewed some really good opening lines, some pretty terrible ones, and some that were just simply okay. Yeah, drop us a comment about your favorite and best performing opening line, so we will be happy to discuss it with you in the comment section. Thank you for being with us today, so don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.